Hello guys, welcome na naman sa ating first topic in our second grading. Wait. And our topic for this day is immunology. So let's begin. What are go we going to expect? I think hati in ko tong discussion to dalawa. So what is immunology? Um, what is in your immune system? The types of immunity? So the two types are your innate and adaptive immunity and the different immune dysfunctions. So simulan natin. So I hope, sana ganito lang katad, kadali yung immune system mo. Oh. Parang may red lang at yellow na lumabas sa katawan. But apparently, hindi. Simulan natin. So guys, basically immunology is the study on what happens on your immune system. Okay, its structure, its function. How? So, the immune system is in charge wherein it distinguishes the self and the non-self, okay? So, in normal situation, it shouldn't attack the, the cells that are self, okay? Yung mga, okay, self yan, self cells yan. Let's not attack it, okay? And all, the only thing that they, should, they would attack in normal settings is the non-self or the foreign bodies like your microorganisms, yung mga bacteria natin. But in immunological dysfunctions, masyadong excited yung teacher nyo. So when there is abnormality or breach in your immune system, sometimes the body attacks itself. Yun. So in normal situation, your immune system should be attacking foreign antibodies. And guys, lagi tayong ina-attack we're surrounded by uh, microorganisms that we cannot see, okay? So your body is in, in a constant attack mode, okay? Kasi maraming foreign antibodies. And guys, the immunology, immunology, its principle is all about the antigens and antibodies. So pag sinabi natin antibodies, yan, it is produced by your uh, B cells. Yan. So your B cells, your B cells are your lymphocytes. So this cells produces the antibodies which attacks your antigens. So yun, may reaction silang dalawa. So it's very, your immune system is very important in protecting the body from foreign substances like your microorganisms. It is responsible for surveillance. Yan. So sabi, it's always ready to attack. Yan. Kung baga may police, may sundalo, yan, who is wary, who is always on alert on detecting and destroying foreign substances. Okay? So, attack microorganisms that exist outside the host cells and defend also, defend the body on abnormal cell growth. Okay? So, you're, di ba? So, pag abnormal cell growth, actually, that's, that's still yourself, the ba? Self cells pa rin yun. But when it, it's already an abnormality, nade-detect naman ng katawan. Example, there are two mores, yan. Swelling, increased growth of your cells. There are neoplasms, abnormal cell growth or cancer that is starting to form. The cells are still under surveillance. Minomonitor yung cells natin and they're attacking it. Okay? Ewan bakit may cancer pa rin. So at some point, may limit rin itong immune system natin. Okay? So, kung may abnormal growth na madaling patayin, they could kill it. But uh, however, yan, due to environmental stresses, genetics, and so on, there are cancers talaga. So guys, apat, di ba? Hopefully, we wish that everyone has a strong immune system. Okay? However, there are people who are immunocompromised o sa mahaba, compra, compromised immune system, okay? So, those who had AIDS already, who are undergo chemotherapy because of cancer, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, those who have autoimmune diseases who are under medications for a very long time, example, they're taking antibiotics for a very long time, elderly people, people with chronic diseases, and congenital disorders, disorders that they got from birth. Yan. So it will make you more susceptible to infection. Ito o nakaabang na yung mga virus. Mga virus eh. 
So, let's proceed to the types of immunity. <laughs> Ngayon ko lang napansin na ano, these viruses are mad. So, for innate immunity, guys, uh, what we will learn are the different physical bi- barriers, anot- anatomical barriers that will protect you from foreign substances, chemical barriers, and different cells that could participate in the innate immunity or also called as natural immunity. And you also have adaptive immunity. Yeah? So, ang beta dito, guys, are your antibodies. Yeah? So, your B cells are the one that produces antibodies and your T cells. Yan, mga T cells and B cells. Sila ang beta sa adaptive immunity. So, the concept of vaccination, kasi it's a relationship of antibodies and antigen, so sa adaptive immunity yan. How the baby is given an anti- is the mom passes an antibody to the baby through the placenta, positive immunity yan, okay? And getting the disease yan is, an, uh, is under adaptive immunity. Sige, let's pag-aralan pa natin. So, your innate immune response, your innate immune system takes effect immediately and it's non-specific. Example, your skin is the, is the biggest physical and anatomical barrier. These are your first line of defense. Ayan, nasa innate immunity yan or innate immune response. It is non-specific. Kasi lahat ng bacteria binablock niya. Correct? Lahat ng virus binablock niya. In contrary to your adaptive immunity, they are highly specific. So, if the antibody that you produce is only against pneumonia bacteria, it will only attack the pneumonia. Okay? If the antibody is for COVID, example, you're, you had a COVID vaccine, so the vaccine is only for the antibodies you created against COVID is only for COVID kasi nga galing COVID vaccine. So pag nagpa-vaccine ka ng hepatitis B, so it's only against hepatitis B. Okay? It's highly specific. Itong innate, it's non-specific. It attacks all. Okay? Your physiological uh, defenses, mamaya, we'll talk about it. Different chemicals and cells. Okay? Non-specific sila. Hindi sila na may mili nang i-attack. Unlike your adaptive immune response, okay? Though it's highly specific, yeah, it's long-term, it's lifelong, and sometimes it's short-term. And what it does, it, it creates memory. So, naaalala nila that you encountered this disease already. So, example, you had dengue for the first time, the immune response is not so strong. Pero the second time na magkaroon ka ng, ng, ng dengue, yan, mas malakas na immune response, they will be more all out in attacking the dengue virus. Okay? So, it's a natural type of immunity kasi natural naman yung skin. Diba? Lahat tayo may skin, lahat tayo may white blood cells, that's all under innate immune response. Okay? And however, no memory of pathogens. They cannot remember Okay? So, kahit sino-sino lang, lahat ng bacteria class, wala silang pinipili, okay, dito sa innate immune response. In adaptive, it's very specific, okay? Um, it's not that fast-acting compared to your innate immune response. Kasi, kasi yung skin mo, andyan na agad, di ba? However, yung ant- antibodies, it takes a couple of days to be produced. Okay, medyo matagal mag-produce ng antibodies. Mga 1 to 2 days. So, your first line of defenses, yan, I told you your skin, your mucus, yan, we will discuss how it, how you are being protected by your skin, your mucus, these are anatomical barriers. Your skin is a barrier, especially if it's intact. Okay, intact. Walang sugat. So, when you have a wound, yan, it's a portal of entry. Okay? So, it's a site where your uh, microorganisms could enter. So, this one is the movement of your muscle, which is peristalsis. So, if ever, kanyari, an or, uh, microorganism entered your mouth and you swallowed it. So, guys, guys the act of the movement of the muscles in your gastrointestinal tract is a way of getting rid of the microorganism. Yan, peristalsis. 
So, your eyelash, your eyelid. So, di ba, pag may pumunta sa mata mo, magka-close agad. Ganyan. Your tear ducts, class, it has enzymes that would protect you. So, the ureter, yan. So, it acts as a barrier to protect your, your urethra acts as a barrier to protect your kidney and your ureter. Yan. So, una, pag may magkaka-UTI, the most common infection is the lower UTI is the lower urinary tract infection, okay? So, ayun, it's a way, example, urinating class, it's a way of flushing down the microorganisms that are in your uh, ureter, in your uretra. Okay, kaya, di ba, sabi, laging uminom ng maraming tubig. Okay, and this is your cilia, guys. Yan na, halata ba? So, your cilia are hair microscopic, okay? Microscopic, hindi yung nasa ilong, ha? So, microscopic hair, like particles. So, ang may mga may cilia, guys, yung uh, bronch bronchus natin in the respiratory tract, yan. So, these hairs, guys, traps foreign substances, yan. And it moves the foreign substances up, upwards, yan. So, para to remove the mucus. So, guys, apparently, if you are smoking, di ba na-discuss? Discuss ba natin to? Did we discuss? I don't think we discuss cells. So, when you are smoking, guys, nicotine will paralyze your cilia. Yan. So, so, what's the consequence if your cilia is not moving something like this? So, pag hindi siya gumagalaw, it it does not move it does not move the foreign substances upwards yan hindi niya pinapataas at tinatanggal yung sputum mo yung ano mo yung mga foreign substances that are stuck in your uh, your bronchus so kaya merong a uh, smoker's cough yan because nicotine could paralyze your cilia so with the first line of defense is I classified it based on if it's physical, so anatomic, chemical, the uh, different chemicals that would kill the microorganisms. Our normal flora, so those are our protection as well, first line defense yan. Different physiological process, the process, the act of sneezing, coughing, that's a way of removing the foreign substances. By the temperature, fever. So, when your fever rises, di ba? Pag tumataas ang temperatura, it is, uh, it, some of the microorganisms do not like high heat. Yan. So, they could die in, in, in cases of fever. Okay? And uh, ex oxygen tension, hindi ba? So, if there is high oxygen tension, uh, anaerobic bacteria will die. If there's low oxygen tension, anaerobic bacteria could die. They could not survive in low in low oxygen tension. Bakrek. Okay. So there are barriers, our skin, our mucuses. Yan. So our cilia, these are uh, physical barriers that are protection. The flushing action, blinking of the eyelids, peristalsis, urinating, is an act of removing the microorganisms in our body. So your cerumen, plus your earwax, your sebum, yung oil natin sa, sa, sa face, guys, it has salts. Isn't it that some, some bacteria could not tolerate high salt environment? Except, in the best of aureus, yan, yung mga pimple bacteria, um, they could tolerate salt. What else? Some microorganisms could not tolerate low pH. So low pH sa uh, stomach natin. So pag nalunok mo na yung microorganism, they could die unless they could survive the acid. Some microorganisms could survive the acid pH. And guys, vagina. Vagina is highly acidic. Yan. Kaya yung sperm cells class, uh, maraming namamatay na sperm cells once it gets into the vagina. Okay? So only if you survive in the process of going to the vagina because it's really acidic. And lipids, yan. Some, 
some organisms could not uh, could not tolerate lipids, the presence of fatty acids. Yan. Normal flora is our protection in our GIT. Di ba? Kaya uminom ng yakol. Yan. The normal flora in the vagina, the bacteria in the vagina is so important. So if you are taking antibiotics, guys, some of your normal flora could die. So sa vagina, pwede kang magkaroon ng yeast infection. So kung namatay yung bacteria, ang magta-thrive fungi. Yan. So pag nag-thrive fungi, kaka-yeast infection ka, makati yun. Okay? So in your nasopharynx, there are normal flora. Okay? So it which also protect us. Physiological process, vomiting. So it's an act of removing, gagging. It's an act of removing kung may nakain man tayong hindi maganda. Yan, microorganisms. Perspiration, an act of shivering. Yan. So when we are shivering, guys, your muscles, your muscles are, are moving in a very fast. Nagkakon nagkikis-kisan sila. I don't know what the term is. Yan. So, in shivering, so mabilis yung, yung movement ng muscles natin to create heat, crying, urination, and defecation. So, guys, these are, are our first line of defense. They are very non-specific. Okay? Lula silang pinipili, gram-positive bacteria, gram-negative bacteria, virus, fungi, parasite. Okay? They attack all. Okay? So I have a few questions here. Yan. Uh, screenshot nyo at sagutin nyo. Okay. Research. Which of the following best describes the innate non-specific immune system? And number two, which of the following constantly shed dead cells along with any microbes? Yan. That may be attached to those cells. So an act of shedding your dead cells is a way of protection rin. Ito, which of the following uses a particularly dense suit of tight junctions, sobrang tight dito, to prevent microbes from entering the underlying tissue? So among these choices, yan, which of the following has the tightest junctions na hindi pwedeng makapasok ang microorganism? Homework niyan. yan. Sagutin niyo sa, ano, hindi niya kailangang ipass yung sagot, guys. Isipin niyo na lang. Number four, what they call the muscular contraction of the intestines that results in movement of material through the digestive tract. Number five, blank are the hair-like appendages of the cells of the respiratory tract that sweep debris away from the lungs. And number six, the secretions that base, secretions that base and moisten the interior of intestines are produced by what cells? Yan. So, some questions. Kailangan nyo i-research. Okay, tatanong pa yun sa quiz. Okay. For now, second line of defense. Okay, nasa natural or innate immunity pa rin tayo. So, therefore, non-specific pa rin tong mga to, ha? So, simulan natin sa cellular factors. Then, isusunod ko yung mga non-cellular factors. So, cells are involved. Yeah. Here, for complement cytokines, interferons, there, these are the products that are produced by the cells, okay? Except complement system. Yeah. So these are proteins. Serine proteases. Ometin na natin. And number four, inflammatory action. So it's both cells and non-cellular substances. Tingnan natin. So guys, these are your uh, white blood cells or leukocyte. Yan. This is your lymphocyte. So we have two main lymphocytes. We have B cells and T cells. We have monocyte. This is the largest WBC. This is your neutrophil. It has more than two lobes. Yan. Pwedeng three, pwedeng four, pwedeng five. So here, one, two, three. Yeah, it has three load, lobes. This is eosinophil and this is basophil. So notice guys, itong basophil, eosinophil, at neutrophil, they have dots on the cells. These are called granules, okay? So granular sila. And itong granule or granulocytes, itong lymphocyte and monocyte, they do not have granules, okay? So they don't need that granules. So the granules inside it are enzymes that could kill your 
uh, that could kill the attacking microorganisms. Yan. So, yeah. So, meron pala akong nilagay dito as a mnemonics. L N L M E B. So, never let monkeys eat bananas. Bananas. So, neutrophils, leukocyte, monocyte, eosinophil, basophil. Never let monkeys eat bananas. So, guys, ayan. So, your neutrophil, it's mostly for bacterial and fungal infection. Okay? They are the first responders. So, mamaya sa immune response, you'll notice that neutrophil will go to the site of inflammation or site of infection or injury first. Ayan. For parasites, it's not the first responder. It will only go, it will only respond to parasitic infections. Okay? And a bit of allergic reaction. Itong ang mas talagang involved sa allergic reaction are your basophils. Okay? It re releases histamine which cause vasodilation wherein your blood vessels expands. Okay? So, pag nag-expand yung blood vessel, so maraming, mas maraming blood yung magpa-flow doon since nag-expand nga siya. Kung baga, di ba, pag ang hose, yan, your hose, your blood vessels, parang garden hose, kunyari kung nagka-car wash ka or nagdidilig ka, okay? So, kung mas malaki yung hose, mas malaki yung circumference niya, guys, so mas maraming flow, okay? Ng blood, ng cell products, yan. Lymphocytes. So, they are cir circular in itsura niya. Wala siyang lobe. So, they are the B cells and your T cells. So, your T cells could be uh, T helper cells or T cytotoxic cells. Yan. So, wag malilito ha. So, the types of the, your lymphocytes has two types. Your B cells and T cells. Your T cells under it, may mga types rin siya, guys. So, dalawa lang yung nabanggit dito. T helper cells and T cytotoxic cells. Yan. So, pabilog lang siya. Okay, the boring. Wala siyang globe. And monocytes are the, la the largest phagocytes, yan, or WBCs. So, they are involved in phagocytosis. They are your macrophages. Yan. So, they remove dead cell debris. Kung baga, guys, para silang garbage truck collector mamaya. Mapapansin nyo kung bakit. Basta kain lang sila ng kain, they attract, attack microorganisms. So, this is an example of your phagocytosis. Phagocytosis is their engulfment or cell eating. Okay? So, your chemotaxis is the first step. So, kailangan, so, guys, kailangan lapitan. Lapitan nung WBC yung bacteria. Okay? So, it will go to the to the site where the bacteria is. So, there is chemotaxis. Chemotaxis means directed movement after a chemical stimuli. Hindi ba? So, chemotaxi, just like your taxi. Isn't it your taxi? When you say that you're going to SM, they will bring you to X SM. Yan. It's a directed movement. So, pag sinabi mo sa taxi driver, SM, Pero di rin lang kasi ibang lugar, kidnapping na yun, okay? So here in your phagocytes, guys, so they go to a direction where based on the chemical signal or the chemical stimuli. So if there is a signal, example, parang bat signal, they will go to the site of injury, okay? So na, nare-read nila yun, tapos they will go to the site and they will adhere. They will go they will attach, attach themselves to the microorganism, okay? And they have, they will form this pseudopod or parang false feet, parang galamay ba? Ganyan, false feet ang pseudopod. False feet so that they could grab on the microorganism, okay? So it will uh, form a vacuole and this vacuole would Unite to a lysosome. So, ang tawag dito, phagosome. So, lysosome plus a vacuole. Vacuole. <laughs> vacuole is a sac, guys. So, lysosome plus this vacuole. Yan. Is, tawag dito, phagolysosome. Yan. Ito rin na yun. Nagsama na eh. Phagolysosome. Wherein the lysosome will release its digestive enzyme. 
it will kill the bacteria and digested microbe in the phagolysosome. Yan. Pag, okay. Sorry, guys. Phagosome to. Yan. Pag nagsama itong dalawa, phagolysosome. Pero itong phagosome, guys, it's a vacuole. Okay, vacuole. Yan. So, lysosome plus phagosome equals phagolysosome. Yan. Wherein the lysosome could now release its digestive enzyme. And now, the phagocyte has this residual body indigestible material. Yan. I, I think it will secrete it naman through exocytosis. So this is your white, white blood cell. So, and this is a bacteria. Yan. So notice, tingnan nyo, parang naglengthen yung katawan ng phagocyte because of the pseudopod. Yan, naglengthen yung katawan niya. So the bacteria will enter a phagosome in the phagosome will combine to a lysosome, forming a, ly a phagolysosome. Tapos, it will release the digestive enzyme until mamatay ang bacteria. So, guys, it's non-specific, okay? So, whatever bacteria it is, engulf lang siya ng engulf, kahit anong mangyari. So, guys, ayan. Okay na. So, we have this macrophages. Ayan. So, these are specialized cells. Sa Wikipedia, sabi niya, professional cells. So, they, these are very specialized because they are found in specific uh, sites in your body. Bigyan ko kayo ng example. This one, osteoclast. And osteo points to the bone. Yan. So, this osteoclast are the macrophages are the phagocytes in your bone. Okay? Kung may nakapasok man na infection dito or mga cellular debris, they are the one who engulfs and destroy whatever the target cell is. Okay? Example, another example, histiocytes. So, these are macrophages that are found in your tissue. Kasi histio means tissue. Your monocytes, guys, are macrophages found in your bloodstream. Okay? So, research. What, um, where could you find macrophages that are longer hand cells? Yan. Saan, saan nakatambay sila? So, they are, they are not moving. They are not circulating the bloodstream. Okay? Steady lang sila. Yung osteoclast, nakatambay lang talaga sa bones yan. Okay? That's why they are specialized. Your histiocytes, nakatambay lang talaga sa tissues yan. Okay? How about the longer hands? Alveolar. O, sa name pa lang, alveolar. Saan nakatambay ang macrophage na to? So, ibig sabihin, guys, kumbaga, these are security guards. Okay? They do not leave their post. Or soldiers, they do not leave their post. Okay? Kung saan sila assign, doon lang sila. Once your macrophages are stained, they look like that, okay? And I told you, ito, mukhang basurero talaga itong macrophage. And that's a macrophage. <laughs> Ayan, it engulfs everything that it could, uh, mga anything that is foreign that it will encounter. You know? Grabe, it can get very big. Ayan. So imagine having macrophages in the different, uh, parts of your body. Di ba? May mga protection tayo. They are non-specific. Ang galing ng katawan. Di ba, guys? But this one naman is your natural killer cell. Yan. So, natural killer. <laughs> by Only by its name. Di ba? Alam mo nang matindi to. This, they act like the policeman. They are good in surveillance. Yan. How do they kill the microorganism? So, they do not engulf, okay? Macrophages yon. Hindi sila nagpa-phagocyte. They are non-phagocytic. They don't do that. What they do is they release granzymes. So, granzymes, example ng granzymes, it produces perforins. Perforins are substances that forms holes sa bacteria or target cell. So, bubutasan niya hanggang mabutas yung cell membrane, hanggang ma-release yung components ng cell membrane patay. Or it will, it will initiate 
apoptosis. Yan, mamatay ka na. Yan, mamamatay na yung cell. Program, cell death. It will initiate the apoptosis. Yan, papatayin nyo yung cells. And the targets are two more cells. So if there are cancer cells that are beginning to form, cells that were infected by viruses, and transplant tissue, okay? So, it could attack the transplant tissue. So, if you were, example, you were a burnt victim and you were given a skin, yan, skin from other people, yan. Usually, ang alam ko, pag nasunog ka, kukuha sila ng skin sa likod mo, yan, and they will attach it to your, to your arm. Pero, pag, pag masyado atang malaki yung burnt victim, yung burn, they will give you a graft tissue, grafted tissue. So, yun, the natural killer cells could attack the grafted tissue. So, you have to drink immunosuppressants. Okay? So, that, para mapakalma. Kalma ka lang, natural killer cells. So, this is an a GIF of your natural killer cells. So, this is a cancer cell. Yan, and this is a natural killer cell. So, Ganun yung nangyari sa ano, cancer cell. Nag-release siya ng granzymes and the cell went went into apoptosis. Ang bilis. Eh, oh, naka-fast forward to guys. Ayan. So, it killed the, 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 the cancer cell. So, mukhang smooth muscle tissue naman to. Itong pinapatay niya. Ayan. So, yung natural killer cell no, ang lately it. Yan. And notice, may sumunod na isang natural killer cell. Kasi there are signals eh, that, that, that calls out this, yung signal, chemical signal. So, walang Wi-Fi, walang Bluetooth, okay? So, they communicate through chemicals. Yan. So, next, guys, this is your mass cell. Yan, mass cell. So, your mass cell, ito, pag may nang encounter siyang antibody, it will release, yan, may, ay, sorry, may na-encounter siyang antigen. So, yung mass cell nyo, cell lang talaga siya. But in your mass cell, there are antibodies on its surface, which is yung antibody na yan, IgE. So, pag may allergen or may antigen na nag-attach sa IgE, it will initiate your mass cells to degranulate, yan, to release granules. In in your phagocytes, di ba yung granules, it has enzymes, digestive enzymes that could kill your bacteria. In, sa, sa granules naman ng muscles, ang laman, histamine. So, histamine uh, causes inflammation. Yan. So, there is swelling, there is redness, there is pain, and it has heparin which prevents clotting. So, it produces an inflammatory response such as allergic reaction. That's why if there is excess histamine in the body, you could drink antihistamine to reduce the symptoms of an allergic reaction. So, kung nakakita na kayo ng may allergy, example, kumain ka ng hipon, ganyan. Bigla kang kinate. Ayan, may redness, may pantal-pantal na. So, there is excess histamine in your body. It could be produced by your basophils. It could be produced by your mast cells. Yan. So, you could drink histamine, antihistamine. Yan. So, ito, mas close up. So, ito yung antibodies ng mast cell. May na-attack, matake na antigen. Ito yung, yung green yung antibody, guys. Yan. And the mast cells will produce in kumakain siya. yung antibodies nag-attach sa mast cells. Yan. Tapos nag-attach yung antigen. It will activate your mast cell. Yan. Ito. Hindi, siya, hindi masyadong malinaw, but it could, it is releasing, it could degranulate or release granules causing an inflammatory response. Yan. Later, I'll talk about inflammation. Nine cellular factors naman. So, these are the products that are produced by cells or sometimes they are just protein. So, complement system. So, these are proteins. Kila sa kalahin nyo, proteins could also kill bacteria. So, there, 
this is a coordinated group of serum proteins that could kill your gram-negative bacteria by forming a membrane attack complex. Yan, mamaya. It results to lysis. Yan. So, complement system kills by ma making a membrane attack complex which make your gram-negative bacteria uh, lyse or breakdown. Pag sabi naman lysis, breakdown. So, coagulation system. So, class, kasama pala sa immunology ang coagulation system. The other term for coagulation system is clotting system. Yan. So, guys, example, yun nga, may wound ka and apparently there's excessive bleeding. So, the body will, will activate the coagulation system so that it could repair the injury to stop the blood vessels from bleeding, okay? So, the end product of a coagulation system is clot formation. Yan. It wants to form a clot para tumigil yung pagdudugo, okay? Because tissue injury will... Kasi pag may injury ka, may bleeding ka, it's not good for the body, okay? So, kung internal bleeding or external bleeding, the body... The, it's, the coagulation system is activated, okay? Kung paper cut lang yun, hindi, hindi, hindi na-activate ang coagulation system, okay? In, in bigger forms of bleeding. And cytokines, guys. So cytokines are products that are produced by the cells of the immune system. They are proteins, peptides, or glycoproteins. What do they do? They regulate. Either they they boost the immune response or they decrease the immune system, immune system, immune response. So, class, kung may foreign antibody, maganda na boost, na strong yung immune response, powerful yung response na rin, di ba? Kung may umatakin kalaban, maganda, powerful yung ano mo, defense mo and offense mo. Pero guys, kung patay naman na yung foreign substance, tapos powerful pa rin yung atake ng immune response, it could result to an allergy. Okay? Pero, ayun, there should, there should be substances that should regulate the immune response. Sinasabi na, oh, stop na, stop na, kalma na, patay na yung kalaban. Ganyan. So, these cytokines regulate the immune response. Okay. We have interferon in, ca in cases. So, if a cell is was infected by a virus, it will release interferon, okay? To signal the neighboring cells, okay? Kumbaga, parang, parang alarm, alarm sa neighboring cells that telling them you should be on the lookout kasi may virus in the vicinity, okay? Parang wang-wang yan, interferon. In viral infections, we have interleukins, products rin to, that could help the immune system and growth factors. Yeah. So this is a GIF of your coagulation system. Yeah. So mahalaga, guys, syempre yung WBCs mo, we don't want your blood vessels to be leaking out. And we don't want um, any area, any opportunity for the microorganism to enter the circulation. Kasi pag may microorganism sa, blood, sa loob ng circulation, guys, it could result to sepsis, to diseases. So, dapat pinaplug talaga. Pinaplug yung, yung injury. Yan. So, the coagulation system is in charge of that. So, guys, this is the complement system. So, C1, C2, B, C4, B, C3. So, these are proteins, okay? So, they would make a membrane attack complex. Yan, itong pa-circle na to. To kill the gram-negative bacteria. Galing, no? So, once there is an antigen antibody, ma-activate na itong complement system. Kasi ibig sabihin, may, may ano eh, pag na-detect na nila itong complex na to, they will also be activated. Yan. So, they will assist the antibodies in killing the microorganisms. Ito yung coagulation cascade or coagulation system. Ang end product nun is a is thrombin or a clot. And these are the cytokines. So cytokines are the products that are produced 
by your cells, immune cells. Yan. So this is an example of a GIF of your complement system. Complement. Hindi ko magalaw. Hindi ko. <laughs> Sorry guys, hindi pala GIF to. Okay. So, for the first part, ito na yung last kong discussion. Inflammation. Okay? So, I know you have experienced inflammation. Okay? Or, so, pag may yung salita, may itis, it's a form of inflammation. So, tonsillitis, gingivitis, appendicitis. Excuse me. And what's... And you'll notice, familiar yung mga symptom, di ba? May tonsillitis ka. There is pain, sakit lumunok. There is swelling of the tonsil. Your tonsils are red. Yan. It could heat up. It could cause fever. Pero example, dun sa site na yun, mainit. Yan. Kasi nagmamadali na pumunta yung ano eh. Yung mga cellular components dyan eh. So, there is already heat that is producing. Swelling. So, there is swelling, increase in size because of the accumulation of fluids in that area. And the worst is loss of function. Hindi naman common to masyado. Pero yan, sometimes there is loss of function. So, inflammation is the process of involving a variety of cells and signaling proteins. And your signals are your cytokines, di ba? That protect the body from infection and foreign substances. So guys, if there is an inflammation, actually, the body is trying to fight off the infection, okay? Pero nga, may limit siya, okay? Because this is a innate or non-specific immune response. Sometimes the immune system triggers an inflammatory response inappropriately such as hypersensitivity and allergic reaction. So pag sumusobra na yung yung immune response, nagiging allergy na, lumalala na. Okay? So kailangan talaga natin ng mga cells that suppresses or regulates your immune system. Or sometimes nga umiinom na tayo ng antihistamine, o umiinom na tayo ng anti-inflammatory drugs kasi nga minsan excessive na yung reaction ng katawan natin. So, the cardinal signs, yung redness, its technical term is rubor. Okay? It, become, it is becoming red because of the increased blood flow. Okay? So, nagiging red yung portion na yun because there is increased blood flow. Bakit, ma'am, kailangan mag-increase blood flow? Kasi in your blood are your white blood cells. They need to go quickly to the site of infection. Now, there is tumor or swelling. Okay? Yung tumor is swelling. So, the, the site is already swelling. Why? Because there is the accumulation of fluid. When we say exudation, there is a slow release of fluid. Yan. Tignan natin. So, look at this image. Yan. So, siguro natusok itong big toe na to. So, notice there is swelling. There is redness because of increased um, passage of your blood flow. There is accumulation of fluid. So, pag tinusok mo yan, lalabas dugo or pwede fluid. Color, it's hot. Because of the increased blood flow of the fluid, of the inflammatory mediators. So these are the cells that are involved in inflammation. There is pain. Masakit yan. Paghahawakan. Yan. The stretch, because of the stretching of pain receptors. The nerves are affected. Yan. So may um, napipinch yung mga nerve. And pain. Functional laser. Disruption of tissue structure. So, in ito, na-experience na ko to recently. Yan, my tonsils had exudates. Yan. So, there is pus slowly coming out of the tonsils. So, notice it's red. Sakit niyan, di ba? May pain. And this is gingivitis. So, pink ang normal na gums. And it becomes red in cases of inflammation of the gums. Yan. So, Buong gum, so talagang namamaga. So, those are the signs of inflammation. Yun nga. And sometimes, nagiging excessive yung uh, inflammation. Okay? 
So for the inflammatory process, so it all begins by a tissue injury, okay? And for example, the pain and this tissue injury is bringing is bringing inside the 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 skin bacteria. Yan. And this bacteria, guys, produces chemical signals. Class, pati yung ano eh, injury of the skin. The skin produces also signals. Okay? That will signal the white blood cell to go to the site of injury. So, it is initiated by the tissue injury. Okay? At na-activate na yung white blood cells. Next is vascular response. So, vascular response is the response of the blood vessel. Kaya nga vascular eh. Vascular system, blood vessels. So, your blood vessels, yan, yung cells niya magkakadikit. But when there is a injury, it will dilate. Yan, medyo magkakaroon ng kuwang yung blood vessels so that your white blood cells from your blood vessels could migrate outside your your blood vessels yan lalabas siya diyan sisingit niya yung sarili niya and it will go to the site of injury because of chemotaxis yan so now there is already swelling yan kasi magaaccumulate na yung mga WBCs yan magaaccumulate na yung fluid and now the phagocytes will engulf the bacteria yan the cellular response and guys actually ang mga white blood cells after it has engulfed a, bacter a bacteria, it could already die. Okay? Lilinisin na sila ng macrophage. So guys, if you tried having a pimple, at yung pimple nyo may white, so those are actually dead white blood cells. We call it pus. Yan, pus. So, kunyari may pimple ka nga may white, those are actually dead white blood cells. Yan. So, kudos sa mga ano natin, white blood cells, inalay nila yung buhay nila. Okay? Para sa kapakanan mo. Okay? So, yan. And wound healing will already start. So, this is what your uh, chemotaxis look like. So, from the blood vessel, your, because of the signal, your white blood cells will go to the site of Injury. Yan. So, there are signals. Yan. So, ito rin. So, yung mast cells mo, they are, they are situated in the, they are situated in the tissues. Yan. So, they could also release histamine that will cause vasodilation. Yan. It will also dilate the blood vessels so that your WBCs could enter the tissue injury. Yan blood cells, yung mast cells. Galing no, guys? So, maraming actually involved. Okay, maraming na-produce na cytokines. Kung may sugat, pupunta doon yung platelets, yung coagulation system, yung mga mast cells, mag-produce na histamines to allow the WBCs to migrate to the site of injury. Ito, micro macrophage, tagalinis, Macrophages secret hormones called cytokines that attract immune system cells to the site and activate cells involved in tissue repair. Yan. So that's what happened. Di ba? Maraming nangyayari guys pag kayo nagkasukat. And let's have a break. Okay. <laughs> Pause muna tayo guys. Okay, so we are now in our third line of defenses, which is adaptive immunity. So we're finished with innate immunity. So your first line are your anatomic barriers or physical barriers, chemical and physiological. And next are your, your second line of defenses are your cells and the non-cellular, your complement system, coagulation system, and the inflammatory response. Okay, finish na tayo. Now, adaptive immunity na tayo. Okay, huwag kayong magugulat na ang natural killer cell is found in both the adaptive and the innate. So, 
it participates also in the adaptive immunity, even the macrophages. Okay, they they also participated in participate in the adaptive immunity. Pero ang pinakabida talaga B cells at T cells. Okay, your B cells are the one that produce your antibodies. So your B cells will differentiate into plasma cells. Okay, wag malilito. So yung lymphocyte nyo guys, may may two types. May B cell, may T cell. Okay? So itong T cell na to, may, may natutunan tayong dalawa. T may, it's divided into T helper cell and T cytotoxic cell. Itong B cell guys, may natutunan tayo. Plasma cell. Okay? The plasma cell is the one that produces antibodies. At bidong bida talaga ang antibodies guys sa adaptive immunity. Your antibodies will always attach to an antigen. Okay? So your adaptive immunity compared to your innate immunity is very specific. Pareho silang in induced or initiated by a foreign substance. Pero what's different and what's What's unique about adaptive immunity, it's highly specific, okay? So I told you, the antibodies against COVID-19 will only attack COVID-19 antigens. Antibodies for malaria will only attack antigens against mal malaria, okay? So specific talaga siya. And it has memory, okay? It could remember the exposure, So, pag may namit siyang COVID sa second time, ah, namit na kita. Yan, I have antibodies for you. Take this. Yan, they could have memory. Naaalala nilang. Galing, no? Mahilig sa history. Char. Okay. So, for, this is your immune system. So, kung narinig niya yung lymphoid organs, yung mga lymph nodes, yan, lymphatic vessels, tonsils, par parte yan, appendix, guys, parte yan ng immune system. Okay? So, your primary lymphoid organs are the one that produces your cells. So, your bone marrow produces your B cells and T cells. Kaya primary lymphoid organs sila. Hematopoiesis means creation of blood cells. So, bone marrow is the one that creates or produces your B cells and your T cells. So, class, yung mga blood cells natin, they are from the bone marrow, okay? So, your thymus does not produce B cells or T cells. It's the site where your T cells mature, okay? So, guys, malalaman nyo mamaya kung gano'n ka-importante ang T cells sa adaptive immune system. And your secondary lymphoid organs... It is the areas where your antigen and your antibodies meet. Okay? Doon sila nagkikita. Sinasabi ko sa mga estudyante ko, this is a battlefield. Okay? Kaya guys, madalas ito ang mga namamaga. So, your tonsils, that's a battle site. Okay? So, kaya lagi namamaga because it catches, it helps us protect our body against foreign substances, kaya laging namamagayan. So, nagkikita dyan, naglalaban-laban yung mga antigen, antibodies, mga immune cells. Sa appendix, kaya namamaga rin ng madalas, hindi ba? Because that is a battlefield where your uh, your your body and the foreign substances fight. Lymph nodes, yan, namamaga rin ang mga lymph nodes. So, dito, pag may tonsils ka, yung lymph node mo dito, mamaga rin. So, they are very important in fighting these organs or places kung saan tumatambay yung mga immune cells natin. In your spleen, in your gut, in your mouth. Di ba? Nasa QFR yan. So, guys, yung imong po nga itong sadong gilid pala. Okay, we're back. So, in your immune cells, ang pinakabida ha, B cell and T cell. Okay, your B cell could differentiate pag na-activate siya into plasma cell and memory cell. So, plasma cell is the one that produces antibodies. And we also have memory cell. Your T cells, guys, 
have T helper cells and T cytotoxic cells. Okay? Ang B cell, bida siya under adaptive immunity. Siya ang main actor sa humoral immunity. Okay? Because of the antibodies. Your T cells, siya ang bida sa cell-mediated immunity. These immunities are under adaptive immunity. Okay? So, B cell, kaya B, it arises from the bone marrow. Your T cell, kaya T, T represents your thymus. Andito ating thymus. Yan. So, it could differentiate into memory B cells and plasma cells. And actually, there are many types of T cells. Okay? Meron tayong suppressor T cell. It suppresses or pinapakalman niya yung immune system. We have killer or cytotoxic T cells. Pareho ba? Pareho pala. And memory T cells. May memory T cells. It has, it could, ito yung mga cells na nakakaalala what happened. Okay. So, mga lang complicated. Mandali lang to, guys. So, itong GR macrophages also participates in the immune response. Okay? So, itong macrophage, it will engulf the pathogen. And actually, uh, the macrophage will present the components of the pathogen to a T-lymphocyte. So, the other name of your macrophages, guys, are antigen-presenting cells. Yan. So, ma'am, bakit ganun? Why, do, why is there a need to present the antigen? Okay? Because guys, um, example in very uh, diseases that is very harmful, sabihin na natin, example, dengue. Yan. You want to create antibodies against that, okay? So uh, apparently, may macrophage, yan, nakuha, nakuha siya ng dengue virus, okay? In engulf niya, ipapapresent niya sa T-helper cell, yan. And this T-helper, that's why it's called helper, because it will activate other cells. It will it will activate the B lymphocyte, yan. And this B lymphocyte will be will differentiate or differentiate or ba kung baka magta-transform into a plasma cell. At i-check nila yung yung antigen na pinresent and it will produce antigen against that dengue, kung dengue man 'yan. Yan. So aside from being a plasma cell, pwede rin siyang maging memory cell. Yan. So, so that um, sila kung bagay yung reserve. So that pag na-detect na or yung same na antigen ng, ng B lymphocyte, at least sila na yung a-attake next. Okay? They are the memory cells. They will remember what happened. And what else? Your T lymphocyte will activate the T killer cell or the cytotoxic T cell. Yan. So, if your B lymphocyte will attack the antigen that was produced, yan, or uh, basta ang, kung, kung baga, ang weapon ng lymphocyte ay eh, antibodies, ang weapon naman ng T cell, guys, are the cytokines. Okay? So, these T cells, yan, could kill also the antigen, okay, once it encounters it. But by using cytokines, hindi antibodies, okay? So, these are your T killer cells. Kaya nga ang tawag sa T cell is cell-mediated immunity. There's no antibody involved, but the, what, what, which are involved are your cells, which is cytotoxic cell. So, pwede siyang pumatay ng mga tumor cells if necessary. Yan. So, ganun. Kaya ang tawag dito sa B cells, humoral immunity, because your antibodies are considered as humors ba? Iba, yung, iba rin yung pangalan. Minsan, tinatawag siyang humors. Kaya humoral antibody. Yan. So, your macrophages acts like, acts as an antigen presenting cell in your adaptive immunity. Okay? It it presents the antigen to a T helper cell and this T helper cell will activate the T cytotoxic cell or the T killer cell and it will activate the B lymphocyte. And this B lymphocyte will differentiate or proliferate into plasma cells which are able to produce plas uh, antibodies and or to B memory cells, yeah, which could be 
later activated in the secondary immune response. So next time na magkadenggi ulit yung pasyente, these B memory cells will be activated again. Kaling no, guys? So question, ma'am, okay, antibodies attaches to antigens. How does it kill your antigens? So number one is through opsonization. So when your antibody attaches to the antigen, it will enhance the phagocytosis. Kasi guys, some antigens or some bacteria are so small. Or sometimes, some antigens nami-miss. Nami-miss ng mga phagocytes hindi niya nakikita. Or example, they have capsule. Diba? The capsule prevents phagocytosis. But when a bacteria which has capsule and an antibody attaches to it, it could be nagiging mas malaki siya. Nagiging mas malaki siya, mas kumbaga, mas nagiging mas yummy sa mata ng phagocyte kung ang bacteria may antibody. Sabi na, sabi ng macrophage, Ooh, that bacteria becomes more yummy because it has an antibody on it. Yan. So it enhances phagocytosis. It enhances the immune response. It makes the antigen more attractive, more visible for the phagocyte to engulf it. What else? Neutralize. Your antigen is, could be neutralized or inactivated by the antibody. Okay. So, kunyari, may toxin, yun, it could act as an antitoxin. It will neutralize. It will inactivate it. Gagawin niyang walang effect. Activation of the complement system. Yan. So aside from if an antibody attaches to the antigen, it will be seen by a phagocyte. Not only that, it could also activate the complement system. Isn't it that the complement system are the proteins diba? that creates membrane attack complex? Huwag kakalimutan, complement system, puro siyan. Kanina yung pinakita ko, C1, C2, C3, mga ganun. So they are trying to make a membrane attack complex to attack the bacteria. So these are proteins, okay? And agglutination. So it will clump the antigens when there is when there is antigen antibody. So kung ang very ang antibody na magaling magclump or agglutinate is IgM. Yeah, because of its structure naman. So ito oh guys, it could result to clumping. Yan. Pwede silang magdikit-dikit. Yung ginawa nilang clump. So when it's in a clump, yan, it is more visible for the phagocyte to be seen. Mas madali niyang kainin. Kasi nga, some antigens are too small or it does not, could not be easily detected by your phagocyte. So this is the act of clumping. Yan. Precipitation, agglutination. So once it agglutinates, yan, it is more easily seen by the phagocyte. So opsonization na to. So nung nakita na nung phagocyte, i-engulf nyo na. Yan. And it already could present it to the T-helper cell. So these are your antibodies, okay? Ang mnemonics, gamed. gamed. So isn't it that your IgA, we encountered it already? So, it's found on the body fluids, in the body fluids, in your saliva, my antibody dyan, mucus, tears, guys, breast milk, may antibody dyan. So, it looks like this. Napaka-unique yung itsura niya. IGD activates your basophils and mast cells. Your IGD protects your body from parasitic worms. Partner sila ng eosinophil, pero mas partner sila ng mast cells, guys, for allergic reaction, IgE. Yan, IgE, tumatambay siya, it attaches to the surface of mast cells. IgG, guys, ito, it is able to, across, to cross the placenta into the fetus. So, the mommy has antibodies, which are IgG, it could pass to the placenta, to the baby. Okay, so magkakaroon na antibodies yung baby. Okay, and IgM, ito yung IgM o. Ayan, so para siyang star. Okay, so it is attached to the surface of B cell. It is responsible for the early stages of immunity. So pag may infection ka, ang unang lumalabas na infection, ay na antibodies after infection, is immunoglobulin, M, IgM. 
So IG means immunoglobulin. At ang second na lumalabas, nagre-respond na antibody after a week or so is immunoglobulin G. Okay? It gives the passive immunity to the fetus. So the fetus does not do not have yet the ability to create antibodies. Yan. The mom is the one that gives antibodies. So yung mom, nakakabigay siya ng IgA at saka IgG sa baby. Diba? So, yung coming from what I said a while ago, so IgM is created first na antibody. Okay? At next na napoform, eh, IgG. Pero guys, sa secondary response, if you meet the the infection again, yan, mabilis na tumaas ang IgG. So this, guys, a additional discussion. So, um, are you familiar with your blood types? Di ba? Napansin nyo ba? Ako, ang blood type ko, B positive. Yan. I guess marami sa inyo, O positive. Yan. So, the are major blood groups are your ABO blood groups, yung blood type A, blood type B, blood type O, blood type AB. Yan. But another major blood group is your RH group. Yan. So, yun yung nagbibigay sa inyo ng positive or negative. Okay? So, most of our, the Filipinos, yan, lahat tayo positive. So, ako B positive. Yan. Yung mama ko A positive. Yung tatay ko B positive. Yung kapatid ko AB positive. Lahat, halos lahat ng Filipino RH positive. Guys, yung mga Caucasians, they are RH negative. So, they are O negative, A negative, B negative, and so on. Okay? So, there is such thing as RH incompatibility. What happens is when the mommy is has RH, kunyari negative, kunyari A negative siya. Okay? Tapos, yung baby is A positive. Mom, pwede pala mangyari yun. Ayan, yung blood type ng mom, negative. Yung blood type ng baby, positive, yes. Especially pag nakapag-asawa siya ng A positive individual or B positive individual. So, nangyayari to, kunyari, ang mga Pilipinong lalaki, they married a wife, a Caucasian wife, who is RH negative, okay? At most probably kasi nagiging positive yung baby, okay? What happens is the mom could create antibodies against the baby, okay? So kung RH negative siya, she could create antibodies against RH, okay? And these antibodies could attack the cells of the baby because your immunoglobulin G, di ba, it could pass through the placenta and it could uh, attack the baby which could cause miscarriage, death of the baby, or pag naka-survive yung baby, jaundice yung baby, ibig sabihin naninilaw because of excessive breakdown of red blood cells. Anemic yung baby because it could happen. Itong erythroblastosis fatalis. When we're in the mommy, creates antibodies against the baby. It happens because she is an RH negative. Ganon. So actually, this is one of the dysfunctions of the immune system. And so, ito yung mga nangyayari. So pag yung, this does not happen on the first baby. Okay? Pag yung mom, at saka, negative, yung baby positive. Sa so first, uh, first, first pregnancy, hindi pa ito mangyayari. Usually, it happens on the second, on the third pregnancy. Yan. So, it's very important that you know your blood type, you know your spouse's, your future spouse's blood type. So, balikan natin. Yan. Saka sa tayo, we're, no, we're not done yet. Pero, review lang. So, your immunity, we have two innate and acquired or adaptive immunity. Okay? And aside from the classification of humoral and cell-mediated, meron tayong active immunity and passive immunity. Active immunity is when you create your own antibodies. You could create your own antibodies when you 
were exposed to that disease or you have received a vaccine. And that is... Okay, itong active saka passive, they are uh, classified into two, natural or artificial. Pag natural, galing sa human. Pag artificial, man-made. Okay, so natural, if you expo you were... Uh, you experience the disease, you you are exposed to an antigen, makikreate ka ng antibodies. Sa passive immunity class, example nga, ang mga babies, they could receive at, uh, antibodies from their mom, maternal antibodies. It's natural kasi galing human. However, you could also have passive immunity wherein they could give you uh, antibodies that are already made. Okay? Class, mam, hindi ba vaccine rin ang tawag doon? Kasi plus pag vaccine, um, they, what they do guys is they, it's active. They allow you to create your antibody. So ang pinapasok nila sa, sa atin is yung antigen. And our body will create antibodies against the vaccine that they give us. Okay? So example sa coronavirus. So the, yung mga vaccine na na-receive natin, what we receive is the spike protein, S protein. So, our body will create antibodies against the S protein. Okay? So, itong gamma globulins, pre-made antibodies na yan. Okay? Example, rabies vaccine. Yan. So, actually, but in those, hindi, hindi, technically, hindi vaccine yun. Those are gamma globulins. Ba, uh, antibodies na mismo yung ibibigay. So, pag passive, bibigyan ka ng antibodies na already, okay? Pag active, you need to create your own antibodies. Yung B cells mo ang gagawa. Yung passive, B, B cells ng iba ang gumawa or yung plasma cells ng iba ang gumawa. Okay? Yan. So, ito, active natural Infection, yes. Nagkaroon ka ng infection. Itong vaccination, it's active pero artificial. The antibody is produced by the host. Ito, no. Itong passive, itong dalawang passive na to. Kasi itong passive natural, it's from the mom. So sabi pag colostrum, breast milk. So what you received is IgA. The response is short. Yan. So, pag binibigyan ka ng mga artificial, passive immunity, short lang yung response nila. So, yung mga vaccines natin, they have longer response because you create the antibody yourself. Okay? So, kung binigyan ka ng pre-made na antibodies, mas maikli yung effect niya. Hope, oh, malino yun, ha? So, your vaccines give you an acquired immunity, active acquired immunity or adaptive immunity. Okay? So, binibigyan ka ng antigen so that it stimulates the body's immune system to recognize the agent if it is a threat. It could destroy it and keep a record of it. Okay? So, example, ako, nagkaroon ako ng pneumonia vaccine. Yan. So, I could, if ever, after two years from now, yan, magka-pneumonia ako, the body has a record of it. Yan. That kung may pneumonia, mas ready na siya if I ang pneumonia. So guys, yan. Dahil trending to, pag-usapan natin. So, these are the different types of COVID vaccine. Yan. So, ako, ang vaccine ko, guys, yung first dose at second dose is... Wala... Ba't wala dito? Pfizer. <laughs> Pfizer is a DNA and a mRNA. Yan. Ang booster ko, Moderna. So, what they give you is a genetic material. Yan. So, yung genetic material, actually, bago pa lang to, DNA, eh, sa, sa Pfizer, guys, mRNA at Moderna. So, that R mRNA codes for the spike protein. Yan. So, itong mRNA, papasok sa katawan natin, and the, the ribosomes will create spike proteins. Galing, no? Di ba yung ribosomes natin is the site of protein synthesis? So, your ribosomes will go, will make spike proteins and the spike proteins will created by the body. 
And the body will attack, will create antibodies against the spike protein. Kaya tayo medyo nilalagnat, ganyan, pag na-injectionan, okay? Because our body reacted to the creation of spike proteins. So, yun, Moderna and Inovio. Ang rami palang vaccines, guys. Itong live attenuated, so binigyan ka ng yes, live coronavirus. However, the word attenuated means weekend. So, binigyan ka ng weekend, weekend coronavirus. Okay? So, ito, Codagenics and Indian Immunologicals. So, yung mga measles vaccine natin, di ba, nung bata tayo, mumps, rubella, chicken pox, those are live attenuated virus, weakened virus ang binigay sa atin. Ito naman, inactivated, patay na yung virus. Yan. So, the whole virus after it has been killed with the heat or chemicals, yun yung Sinovac. Yan. So, safe. I guess, hiyang ang Pilipinas sa, sa Sinovac. So, it's the same with your polio vaccine. So, in history class, wala pang mga DNA and RNA vaccines. The specific, yung Moderna, mRNA. Okay, yun yung specific niya. Subunit naman, you were given a portion of the vaccine. Okay, portion, portion of the virus. Example, yun nga, sinasabi ko, is protein. Yan, you were given only a portion of the virus, not the whole virus. Yung inactivated, yung whole virus, yung binigay sa iyo, live attenuated, whole virus pa rin binigay, binigay sa pasyente. Sabi dito, yung, itong live attenuated, you could not give it to comprom with people with compromised immune system. Itong DNA and RNA, itong disadvantage niya, it had never been done before. It's never been done before. So, yan. And next, guys, is viral vector. So, the virus, the genes of the virus is carried by a food panda or a vector or a carrier, which is a virus. Yan. So, we have this harmless virus. Yan. It acts like a food panda, which delivers to us the genes of the COVID. Yan. So, yun yung AstraZeneca, Johnson, and Johnson. So, ano yung ko na bang Novavax? Yan. So, yun lang yung dumating sa Pilipinas. Eh. Moderna, diba? Sinovac, AstraZeneca, and Johnson, and Johnson. So, viral vector sila. So, yung carrier, so yung genes ng virus, nilagay nila sa ibang virus. Galing, no? So, patapos na tayo, guys. These are the immune dysfunction. So, what happens if your immune system will not do its job, okay? So, instead of attacking foreign substances, it's attacking the cells, okay? So, example is, the common example is your allergies. Yan. So, who has allergy here? So, if you had allergy with allergy, <laughs> food allergy, from nuts, seafood, penicillin from the drugs, yun, may mga may mga merong may mga allergy sa vaccine, sa bee, mold, spores, ako siguro mold. Yan. So what happens, and this is your mast cell. And in your mast cell, there are, in its surface, there are IgE. Yan. So every time na mimit ng katawan itong allergen na to, it will activate your IgE and this IgE will activate the degranulation of mast cells. Itong mast cells magproproduce ng histamine. And so histamine, magkaka-inflammatory response ka. So pag excessive na yung histamine niya na produce na, excessive na rin yung swelling, yung redness, yung pain. So, yan, it's initiated by your allergy. Yan. There is redness, itchy, di ba? So, histamine could constrict your smooth muscles. Not only that, it could constrict your bronchioles. Pwede kang hindi makahinga. And causes more vasodilation. So, pag, pag nag-really na bumubukas, lumuluwang yung junction between your blood vessels, yun, 
nag-escape yung fluid, it enters the tissue and there is swelling. It activates the enzyme, you know. This guy was uh, bitten by a bee, you know, sa upper lip. Buti, walang anaphylactic shock or anaphylaxis. Yung excessive allergic reaction, yan, you could lose consciousness, pwedeng hindi ka na makahinga, yan, your, your tongue will swell, sobrang lalaki, you could not swallow anymore, you could not breathe in your mouth, rapid swelling of the throat tissue, hanggang hindi ka na makahinga, okay? So, ang um, emergency dyan, dapat may epinephrine shot. We also have yan, graft rejection. Yan. So apparently, guys, if you were given itong graft rejection, so our body could reject uh, organs that are not ours. Okay? So the immune system of the receiver, of the recipient, so example, nakareceive ako ng kidney, my immune system is attacking the brand new kidney. Yan. So sayang, di ba? So, mas maganda, so now, what they do is they test for compatibility testing. What they test is not only the blood type, but also this term, major histocompatibility complex. Yung major, may space yan, ah, MHC. Ah, MHC testing to ensure that as much as possible, e eh, compatible yung, <coughs> yung organ to reduce the rejection. Okay? And the person should drink immunosuppressive drugs. Yan. So, dalawa dapat yung requirement. Okay? Pero, guys, may limit talaga ang mga organs. So, mga 10 years, ganyan, or 3 years, I don't know. So, kung kailan to matagal ang mga transplant. Depende. So, if it's skin, graft, yan. So, I don't know how, how long it would last. However, meron rin tayong third na graft versus host. Magkaiba to ha. Wherein, the graft, the organ that we place, most especially bone marrow, is attacking the host or the recipient. Ang umaatake, inaatake yung nakareceive. Okay? Matapang tong mga graft na to. Especially if it's a bone marrow or stem cells. So, the recipient's body is foreign and the donated cells attack the body. Especially, example, yung mga bata na may leukemia. Kailangan nila ng bone marrow transplant. Unfortunately, the bone marrow that they have received is attacking their body. Yun yung graft versus host. Diba? Tindi. And we have this autoimmune diseases. So, these diseases happens when the cell attacks itself. Okay? The immune system of the cell attacks itself. Yan. So, so, dapat hindi. Diba? So, yung at, they attacks the body cell as though they were pa, dangerous pathogen. So, ma, class matapang ang immune system eh. And if it's directed to your own body, yan, it's so dangerous. Example, rheumatoid arthritis, yan, wherein the antibodies attacks the joints, the tissues inside the joints, causing joint damage and pain. So, in class, the word arthritis, yan, joint inflammation of the joint, usually, pang matatanda lang yun. Okay, namamagana yung mga joints, kasukasuhan. But this rheumatoid arthritis, na nangyari to, kasi nga, Ang cause ng mga autoimmune, genetic, lifestyle, environment, stress. So, even though you're young, tapos nagkakaroon ka na ng sakit sa kaaksukasuhan, na cool, red flag yun. It could point to an autoimmune disease. What else? Yan. Type 1 diabetes. So, diabetes is when you have high blood sugar. Okay? So, the one that lowers your blood sugar is the hormone insulin. So, your pancreas, the beta cells of the pancreas, produces insulin. However, in type 1 diabetes, si Nick Jonas, guys, merong type 1 diabetes, the 
antibodies attack the beta cells. Okay? Kung baga, these beta cells are your insulin factory. So, kung nasira na yung insulin factory, wala nang insulin. Yan. So, the, the purpose of insulin, it lowers your blood sugar. So, kung wala ka ng insulin, di high na yung blood sugar mo. So, insulin allows the glucose to enter the cells. So, kung wala na insulin, hindi na makakapasok yung glucose or yung sugar sa loob ng cells. Ito naman, multiple sclerosis, autoantibodies, which attack the myelin sheets of your nerve cells. Yan, causes muscle weaknesses, pain fatigue weakness. And we have systemic lupus erythematosus. Yan, so systemic, so it could attack the different organs in your body. It could cause organ damage and pain. Yan, so yun nga, yun nga. Walang sawang example ko, Serena Gomez. So, it could attack your kidneys. Yun. That's why she needs a kidney transplant. So, other autoimmune diseases. Example, itong Graves disease and Hashimoto's disease in your thyroid. Class, malapit ang puso ko sa thyroid kasi natanggal na yung right lobe ko. Okay? Isa na lang yung natitirang thyroid ko. And I was, I'm thinking the Lord kasi wala akong namang autoimmune disease. But actually, it's more common than you think. Yan. May mga kilala ko, may Graves disease siya. So when we say Graves disease, grabe. So this autoantibodies, guys, increases the production of thyroid hormones. Kaya Graves, okay? Grabe. So it results to hyperthyroidism. So bumibilis yung metabolism mo, payat ka, it could also affect your heart. Yung Hashimoto's disease naman, so it causes the, the, the cells that produces, it kills the cells that produces your thyroid hormones. Kaya pag may Hashimoto's, decreased thyroid hormones and it results to hypothyroidism. Pag hash, hash, kinakrush niya yung mga factories that produces thyroid hormones. Kaya, decrease ang thyroid hormones pag Hashimoto's disease. Yan. Ito, psoriasis. So, recently, my friend was diagnosed with psoriasis. Yan. So, autoimmune disease that causes lesions sa skin. So, ang nag-trigger ng psoriasis niya, guys, is pagpa pagpapatato. Yan. And also stress. So, ayun, class. Hemolytic anemia. So, antibodies could attack your red blood cells and it could cause it to break down. Tapos, magiging anemic ka na hanggang wala nang matirang red blood cells sa'yo. So, rheumatoid arthritis, it attacks your joints. Nalami, guys. Celiac disease, Crohn disease. Kaya yung mga class, yung mga may, yung kumakain ng mga gluten-free Yan. Because they say that gluten will decrease the symptoms of celiac disease, Crohn's disease, ito, ulcerotic colitis. Kaya yung may mga gluten-free gluten diet. Yan. So, yung type 1 disease, yan, when your body is unable to produce insulin because your immune cells are destroyed by the uh, beta, ay, your beta cells are destroyed by your antibodies. Yan. Whew, guys, so thank you for listening. I hope class you maintain kayo and you've enjoyed the ride. Guys, thank you. I'll see you again. Bye bye.